YouTube, how you guys doing? In this video I'll be giving you some tips as to how you can play optical media on the new MacBook Airs or any MacBook Air, to put it that way. There's three ways and I'm going to go straight into it without wasting any more time. Number one, you can go out to the Apple Store and get an external USB super drive. That's probably the easiest way, shall I say, £65. That's going to cost you, um, in essence, um, but that will guarantee yourself a physical optical drive. Number two, and this is probably the one I'd recommend, if you've already got a Mac like I have, this is the MacBook Pro, and you've got a disc and you want to install something on the MacBook Air using that disc, and you don't have a super drive, you can use your MacBook Pro to do that. So here I have got a disc that I got from Macworld that give you free software, and what I'm going to do is put this bad boy in, and I'm going to install it on the MacBook Air, even although I've put the disc inside. And surprisingly, people don't know this feature actually exists, hence why I'm making a video on it. So I'm going to go to Finder, and I, I guess it uses Wi-Fi, so it's going to detect that computer's super drive. And let's go into Remote Disk. Just zoom it in a wee bit, so you guys can see. So in Remote Disk, and it's detected the MacBook Pro. It's detected it's a Mac World Disk, which is a good thing. Uh, and here is a bit of software that I wanted, uh, it's called Smoozy, or Smoothie shall I say. going to go open it, and I'm going to copy it to the desktop because I want to install it on this MacBook here. going to drag it, and there we go. And the fans are going crazy on the MacBook Pro. I say crazy, but it's loading the drive up, or loading the disk using that, and then converting it to here. And guys, there we go. That's pretty much it installed. But hey. But guys, uh, that was probably a really good tip. It works on both Mac and PC. So that's a good way. It'll save you £65 and you can share it and so on. And the third way is download it off the internet, the whole cloud based storage that Apple was focusing on. That's probably going to be your best bet. But guys, if you have any more tips, uh, you know, leave them down below. But this is the, the second step, is the one I use a lot with the MacBook Air. Note if you are going to be playing DVDs, it is going to lag. So it's best to have some sort of DVD converter with you to convert those videos onto the MacBook Air rather than putting a DVD in and trying to watch it there and then. It's not going to work too well, so you might want to get a converter. Uh, but guys, uh, thanks for watching. Remember, you can join me on iGlassVegion.com, Twitter.com slash i 6 glassvegion got a Facebook fan page, Facebook.com slash iGlassVegion. And guys, I'll see you in another life. Cheers.